the Pfizer news of the 90% efficacy is, is terrific. You know, I've worked with respiratory viruses my whole career. We are not used to seeing efficacy that is this high for respiratory virus vaccines. To be starting at such a high efficacy is great news for vaccine development, not only for Pfizer, but for all of the other vaccines that are in development based on a, a similar construct. Now, what does this mean to those of us in the United States? You know, we're not quite there yet. We know that Pfizer hasn't filed with the FDA for emergency use authorization. As they said, they need some, some longer follow-up. We also know that we will be in a supply constrained situation no matter who is first on the market and no matter how many vaccines are first on the market. So we need to continue to be diligent about wearing masks and social distancing, and likely it will be priority groups that will get a vaccine first. We do know that vaccine development is a risky business. It usually takes much, much longer, as people have heard, you know, 15 years, 20 years, and we've condensed that down to 12 months. So everything does have to go very well. You know, manufacturers have to, to scale up. It's easier to make small amounts of vaccine than to make large amounts of vaccine. And then in terms of distribution, people have been talking a lot about the storage of these early vaccines, these mRNA vaccines that require storage in a, a minus 70 to minus 80 degree freezer, which we know isn't really available in most for example, public health clinics or healthcare provider offices. An additional complication to the rollout strategy is that we will likely need two doses of vaccine. So this, this will be difficult. We have to make sure that, that we track the vaccines, we track when people get the vaccines, and that we bring them back. Now, how much of the population would need to take up a vaccine to get herd immunity or make a difference in the outbreak partly depends on the efficacy of the vaccine. So with a 90% efficacious vaccine, we wouldn't need as many people to, to take up that, that vaccine in order to start seeing herd immunity. Now, we'd obviously like it to be as high as possible, but, but perhaps you could get away with 50, 60% of, of the population. The lower that efficacy is, the higher the vaccine coverage must be.